Yeah, also Penny, this is my first ever date as well, so... What? I'm very sorry if I don't know what I'm doing, but I think, I think it's going all right so far. Are you doing good? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Have you ever had a relationship before? Not really. The only semi-relationship I've had is sort of like a 42-year-old. Other than that, not a lot. I wouldn't have thought it was your first date. No. Um, I, I have had a bit of training beforehand from friends, some of the, the do's and don'ts. <laughs> yeah, I think also a lot of my friends think I'm still single because a lot of people say I sound a lot different to how, how I look. Why is that? Uh, basically, when I was younger, I was, like, partially deaf. Oh, OK. Yeah, but so when I had speech therapy, Vistava's voice, uh, she decided to give me. It was a reasonably simple operation, but because I had it from such a young age, I essentially couldn't communicate with anyone properly. Yeah. The only people I could communicate with for a few years were uh, my close family. <laughs> I was about to say something, but I've forgotten it, and I can't remember if it was interesting or not. <laughs> I'll let you know if it comes back to me. <laughs> when I was at primary school, if I want to say something, they sometimes have to get my older brother into the classroom to then tra essentially translate for, for me. If that failed, then I'd have to call mum at home and she would usually be able to understand what I was trying to say. So, yeah, I was, I, I was qu quite an odd child, I'd say. Yeah, Penny, I don't know how to move this on. You're a sound girl. I think it's more me, because it's my first date. Oh. I don't know, don't know how to shift through the gears. <laughs> well, how would you like to shift it up? I don't know. <laughs> Very good question.